This rock wall was one of, it's an original feature and it was one of the selling points when we first bought the house. Um, the ceiling of this living room actually used to be eight feet and we vaulted it. Um, but the, when we got into the construction of the kitchen, we realized that the mortar of the original stone was too crumbly to be able to attach anything firmly to it and it actually didn't have any interior supports whatsoever. It was literally just rocks stacked upon um, mortar. So we had to fix that <laughs> and make it so that you couldn't just shove the wall over. So we took all of, um, all of the stones down and it was very sad. It was in a big pile kind of right here. And then it got rebuilt within a day with actual good mortar and um, it just kept with, with, the, uh, with the keeping of the mid-century feel of the house. And it also adds a good focal point for our gentleman's lounge that we call. Um, it's just kind of like a meeting space, social space. Um, we built this Fodenza that we like to call out of um, actual wall cabinets, just hung lower and put a little cabinet on top and it holds all of our, all, all of our bar. <laughs> I designed the, the the style of this whole thing, um, and I had a friend of mine who's a metal worker, uh, Ryan from Burnwood Metalworks. Um, I had him build it, and um, it weighs like 350 pounds because it's made out of quarter inch steel. Um, and then uh, under Amy's guidance, um, <laughs> she didn't like the original speakers I had in here. So uh, it was her idea to basically build custom speaker boxes that fit perfectly in here. So then I built these. So we have a friend that is a, an arborist um, and he lives um, just outside of Boulder, Colorado. And we went and visited him last summer and he's like, hey, come out to my shed. I want to show you some stuff. And so we go out there and he has like stacks of all of these slices of different types of trees and Amy and I were just like we kind of wanted all of them but um so he was generous enough to let us take one home um and uh so we took it home and we immediately made this table um I think we already had some legs uh left over from another project so yeah we just kind of threw the table together and um we call it our little uh, bacon strip table because it looks like it's less than bacon. We renovated the kitchen. Um, we actually doubled its size. It, uh, it used to be kind of end right at the end of this cabinet and it had a doorway that went into an exterior um, non-conditioned laundry space. Um, more or less the, the, the sink and everything was in the same spot um, but we purchased all the Ikea cabinets even before we had gotten a contractor to do the rest of the renovation. So um, it ended up being a good, fine thing, but we did install and build uh, all of the cabinets. And um, we put some quartz um, countertops on top. Uh, we had some friends help us with the tile work, and then we also had a carpenter friend build the walnut shells with the integrated lighting. Um, felt like having it open um, to grab dishes was a little bit more family friendly, something like that. To give the cat his own space, uh, we utilized a cabinet that is completely for the cat. The dog cannot get in there, get to his food. Um, and so yeah, so the kitty goes in there and has his food and his bathroom. And he has his own lights in there that are motion sensor lights. We wanted to try to mix modern, but also bring in some vintage or period correct pieces. We were super lucky to have a friend that found these gunlock chairs in Round Top in their antique fair. Um, so we had these. Um, the lamps are uh, vintage. They used to be in my grandfather and my grandfather's house. And the antlers and the black wall kind of came about um, because we wanted to uh, pay a little bit of an homage to my father, who was a really um, avid hunter. 